You're listening to Know What You Believe. So, um, <laughs> oh, I want to thank you for just taking the time to listen in. And if you're watching on YouTube, I want to thank you for clicking on to this video. My name is Bethany, the host of Know What You Believe. And today we're going to talk about a Christian affirmation. So I'm going to go through these series. I just finished this book called The Christian Affirmation Journal and so we are going to go through a series of affirmations and we are going to analyze them and figure out like do we actually believe what we say we believe. So today's affirmation is I am loved but before we start you know I gotta pray so I can calm myself down and you know get centered. God, we thank you so much um, for this opportunity. We thank you so much for loving us. We thank you so much for supplying us with all of our needs. We thank you so much for um, reminding us who we are and what we are in you, God. We ask that, um, well, I ask that this show, I ask that this show helps whoever is watching, whoever is listening, God that you touch their hearts, that you speak to them in only the way that you can. In Jesus' name we do pray, amen. Amen. All right, so, I am loved. All right, so before we even start that, we gotta define, like, what is love? What does love mean? There's a lot of definitions out there in the world. You got a lot of songs about love, but we are gonna go to, you know, the perfect definition, the truth. So we're gonna go to the word and we are gonna go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse four through seven. And it says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs, Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in truth. It's, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. So that is the definition that we are hanging on to throughout this entire show. All right, we're not going to, you know, go from that movie that you watched or that song that was singing about love. We're going to go through that God's definition. This is what love is. <laughs> I'm gonna stack up a list of what love is. All right. So after we define it, we have to analyze, like, based on the facts. And in my book, well, in my devotional, um, Love Thy Neighbor, I go through the three tiers of love, which means your relationship with God, your relationship with self, and then your relationship with others. Um, we're gonna analyze. Based on this definition of love, love is patient, love is kind, um, does God love me? And so for me, I literally just, you know, I'm an old lady, I gotta take my book, um, and I listed down different things. You know, my phone. Silence your distractions before you start this. All right, so I listed down all of the ways or all of the present scenarios in which I know um, God has shown me his love. So it says, God has been patient with me with starting this podcast. You guys, it took me a while. It took me a while to even, you know, start this, um, to believe that this was important, but I know that it is because I keep thinking about it. And whenever you keep thinking about something, it's usually God telling you like, you need to start. But I know God loves me because he has been patient with me and hasn't gotten angry with me in starting this. Um, and I listed a couple of other things, but yeah, so you got to sit down and just literally just write down 
instances and where you can see God's love in your life. All right, I love myself. So one of the things that I put is I love myself enough to set and stick to my boundaries. And for me, that was like under love always protects. Um, boundaries keep me safe. Boundaries are valid. And that's one of my affirmations, like my valid, my valid, <laughs> my boundaries keep me safe and my boundaries are valid. I also put, I love myself enough to move forward um, and to not let my past mistakes define or keep me from moving forward. And for me, that means where it says love always perseveres. So I love myself to keep going. I love myself enough to keep moving forward. And yeah, just write down instances instances am i saying that correctly i don't know let me know if i'm saying it correctly i feel like i'm not but <laughs> i had to write down situations um where i see like according to god's definition how i am loving myself um another thing so the last thing is um i am loved by others or i am loved by my neighbor so i put um <laughs> I know my Lear, that Lear, that's my husband, if you don't know who Lear Bear is. But um, I listed different ways in which I know that he loves me according to God's definition. Um, I put my mom, I put a couple of other people. So just put, like, I guess the three closest people to you. Um, and list out situations and scenarios in which you know that they love you based on God's definition. All right, so after that, after you write your whole list down, then we come to the conclusion. All right, so I have concluded, <laughs> and I know that this affirmation is true. I am loved um, because I just listed all the facts, and that's what you got to do. You just got to take your time to sit down and list all the facts. All right, so what is the next step? You figured out I am loved. Um, for me, the next step was... How can I show my love? Like moving forward, how can I show God that I love him? How can I show myself that I love myself? And how can I show the people that love me that I love them? Um, and so for God, I put, no, I wrote it down. <laughs> so for God, I put, there's a scripture and I'm going to link it down. I'm going to put it down below. And this says where Jesus says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. For me, that is a big thing. Um, I've come to the conclusion that God's love language is obedience. If you don't know what love languages is, we can make a whole video about that. But right now, <laughs> let's just assume that you know what a love language is. If not, you could just Google it. But god's love language is obedience and in that scripture jesus says if you love me you will obey me not if you love me you're going to go pass out pamphlets you're going to sing about jesus and all this stuff no if you love me you obey my commands so how can i express my love to god i can obey him i can listen to what he is asking me to do for myself how can I express my love for myself? Put follow through with my ideas. Um, I put take time for meditation. And I'll put a couple of other things. But just list how you can show yourself some love. And then for others, I put figure out their love language. So this one is important because a lot of people, you can't just love people how you want to be loved or how you accept love. You have to love people based off of their love language because you can give them a whole bunch of gifts, but if that's not their love language, they're not going to feel loved. So it's just taking the time to figure out how does that person receive love? How does that person give love? And most of the time you can figure out how that person receives love based on how they give it to you, if that makes sense. So. I'm not going to share my husband love language because y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's very selfish. All right, let me go to my mom. Um, I know that my mom's, one of my lo mom's love languages are um, words of affirmation because of my whole life she's always been 
speaking into my life. She's always been telling me that I'm beautiful. Um, she's always been saying that she loves me. And so in order for me to give that back to her, in order for her to feel like I love her, I have to give her what she always gives me. I have to give her words of affirmation. And I don't think she realizes that my, well, she might, she might not. But my love language isn't words of affirmation, but I understand and I know that like her expressing how she loves me through her words is her way of saying that she loves me. So in order for her to feel loved, in order for me to express my love for her, I have to give words of affirmation, even though that's not my love language, it's her love language. So let me know if that makes sense. <laughs> All right, so yeah. That was today's affirmation. I am loved. I hope it helped you. Um, share it with other people. Say it. Write it down. Put it on your mirror. And yeah, know that you're loved. All right. That's it. <laughs>